最初に明かししてくれたね、あのー、キャッシーさんの娘さん、ね、2人娘さんがいて、長女はティファニーってプロのスイングーなんだけど、日本ピオカのね、14年前オープンした時はそのティファニーって歌ってくれて、親子でね、この日本ピオカ見つけて使えてくださって、本当に感謝します。Thank you. We are now in our open season of prayer message series. But as you know, Chichi made this kind of nice flyer. If you haven't received it, take this place, please take some of them. I do, I always keep them in my wallet because they're small, it's easy to keep and then give them out. In Japan, we have so many expressions related to autumn, like the autumn of you know, reading books, or the autumn of doing sports, or the autumn of being in love with art, or uh, the autumn of you know, eating a lot. Like. What kind of you know, autumn is that autumn for you? Of course, as, uh, there is um, also a harvest or different types of harvest during autumn, so we call it also the, fruit, uh, the fruitfulness of autumn. Uh, there are so many really nice things to taste during autumn in Japan. There is a ranking actually about autumn tastes. What do you think like ranking five? You know, what would be It's like a kaki is number five in the ranking ranking of you know autumn tastes in Japan. Uh, then uh, four would be the mushroom. Then number three, fish. Fish. <laughs> Fish. 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 果物だったりそういう野菜の実りじゃなくて私たちの人生においても実りが豊かになってほしいと思います。Just, um, a, a harvest, じゃあ私たちの人生が実り豊かになるために何が大事か。And you need, you know, 実りです。つまり実りです。だから実りの秋。とかけて私は祈りの秋と今月のシーズンします。Therefore, I actually want to you know, talk about the season of prayer, like autumn as a season of prayer. 祈りはシンプルでどこでもできます。Prayer, you can do it anywhere, it's simple. でも奥が深い。And it's very deep. Or it's この祈りの秋シリーズを通して少しでもこの祈りの奥深さだったり、祈りの楽しさだったり味わえたら。And I think to do that message series about prayer, you want to experience More about the depth, about the beauty, about the、uh, power of prayer. Therefore, let's start with prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that we are already in November, in the middle of autumn. I'm actually that we are on the way to winter. As we thank you for all the beauty of autumn, the night, the sky, the clear sky, the blue sky. Thank you for the different tastes uh, uh, which come with, with、um, autumn. And we thank you, Lord, that through different seasons you bless us. And we,、uh, that you 
実りなしという言葉がありますがどうか私たちの人生においても豊かな実りを経験させてください。今から聖書の言葉を聞きますが、ただの文字ではなくて、どうかあなたの声を私たちに聞いてください。Uh, now, so、私も心で楽しいで聞くことができます。But can, um, but our heart, our soul can be イエス・キリストの名前で祈ります。祈りは小さな子供でもできます。Even little children can pray. 子供たちの祈りを本にした神様への手紙というこういうものです。Book called the Letters to God, like、prayers これ、CD 化されてて何冊か出てるんです。すごい素敵な。It's really a, a nice、little book. この中の祈りをいつか紹介します。神様、僕の弟は4歳です。A dear God, my younger brother is four years old. I wish you could please get him to stop driving me crazy. Mark, seven years old. Dear, dear God, I think it's terrific the way they got the astronauts up there into the world,、right? into the sky, and going around the world. But please, please don't let them fall onto our house. Your friend Norman. 神様、雪がすごく積もって、学校が休みになった時のことを覚えてる Dear God, remember when the snow was so deep that we don't have to, have to go to school? またあんなふうにしてもらえないか Could you do that again? <笑>子供の祈りが可愛いです。And the prayer of children is so cute. さあ、早速皆さん。And so let's go with that to our first point, the star point. 先ほど申し上げたように祈りは私たちの人生を祈りは私の人生を実り豊かにします。これが今日のメッセージのもう大前提です。第一手元の4章5節の言葉を一緒に読みます。In Timothy 4, 5, says, 3、はい。神の言葉と祈りによって清められるからです。For we know、uh, it is made holy by the word of God and prayer. なぜ人生が実り豊かになるのか祈りによってなるのか清められるんです。The、Paul is saying here, through prayer, God makes everything fruitful, everything holy, rich. 皆さん、初めて自分が祈った時のことを覚えてますか ?Do you remember the first time when you prayed? 以前ね、あの僕はクリスチャンになる前のとんちんかな祈りをメッセージの中で話したことがあります。I think I've been sharing with you once about my experience, you know, how I, I actually prayed before you and I became a Christian. 僕はクリスチャンだって初めて祈ったの14歳の時。First time I, I prayed was when I just after I became a Christian, 14 years old. 初めて参加した長野県山奥のバイブルキャンプでした。And it was during a camp, a, 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 a kids camp. それが教会のキャンプだとしない。I didn't know it was a church camp. ただキャンプが聞かされて聖書を持たされて参加してしまった。Uh, but my friend kind of そこで初めてこの聖書に触れ、聖書を読んで、イエス様の話を聞いて、クリスチャンになっちゃった。For, for the first time, actually, I heard there you know, the, about the Bible, about Jesus, and I became a Christian. でそのキャンプで5、6人の、ね、中学生が1つの部屋でキャビンって呼びましたけども、3月やらね、キャビンめっちゃ写真出ますからね。We have a picture, I think, about from these cabins. ね、これ実物ですね。このキャンプで僕はクリスチャンになって、そして毎晩ここでね、この部屋のカウンセラーとお兄さんがいるんです、僕たちのお世話してくれる。And all we would stay together, you know, we always find a voice of a leader, and c a l l them. そのカウンセラーが、じゃあ今日は何々君お祈りしてくれるとか言って、指名するわけ。In the evening, they would always turn to one of us, like, okay, please, I hear you,、uh, please pray for me. 教会に行ったことない。And, you know, I've never been to church. 祈ることも今までしたことないんですよ。I've never, you know, thought about praying. だから祈りもよくわかんない。Didn't know anything much about prayers. このご指名制度。Then I, like, I, I, I saw that these guys. 謎だらけなんです。Counsel just points, you know, you pray, please. 
だんだんだんだんとみんな指名されてってどうしようどうしようつい自分がドラフト1位指名されたらどうしようって。キャンプも中盤に差し掛かった頃ついにじゃあだんだん今日お願いしてドラフト1位されてしまった指名されてしまった。緊張しましたよ。I'm really I'm super nervous. カカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカカ Now looking back, I think, you know, when I was 14 years old, I got chosen by you pray. It, 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 it's such, so good to remember that I was chosen. And even though my prayer was very God type of prayer, but it was the start of my prayer life, the start of a fruitful life. 1912年にノーベル賞、ノーベル生理学賞、医学賞を受賞したフランス人のドクター、アレクシス・カレルという人がいます。アレクシス・カレル、he was French doctor, and in 1912, he got the Nobel Show Prize. 彼、こう言いました。And he said, もしあなたが祈りの習慣をつけるなら、あなたの人生は深い感化を受けるだろう。He said, if you start to get into a habit of prayer or a culture of prayer, your、uh, life will be heavily or will be impacted, will be in a good way impacted. Therefore, he, I mean, he was a medical doctor. <laughs> and, and so he said like, about the, the importance of the goodness of prayer. But he said, if you start to get into a habit of prayer or a culture of prayer, your life will be heavily or will be impacted. Therefore, he, I mean, he was a medical doctor. He said, if you start to get into a 祈りがもたらす祈り豊かさ、祈りの力を知っていた、経験していた。Therefore,、uh, he himself he had experienced the power and the goodness of prayer. 祈りについてね話したいことがいっぱいあるんですけども、三つ話します。And there are so many things I'd like to share with you today about prayer, but let me share three. 最初のポイントから行くと、祈りは私たちを失望から救います。First one, prayer saves from disappointment. 祈りは私たちを失望から救う。Prayer says from disappointment or disappointment. In Luke 18, verse 18, it says, いつでも祈るべきであり、失望してはならないことを教えるために、イエスは彼らに例えを話された。One day, Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up, like never give up with a disappointment. 失望しないために祈りなさいって言ってました。He said, like、uh, Jesus said, you know, keep praying. Yes, and then, more Aki in that day, was it a Kagetu Kamashina? You go, Kotosh no Natsu, the Mecha Atskata Janaska, Mosho. Maybe you forgot already because it's not autumn, but our summer was so hot. Kansok Shijo, Heki Kyo, Ichibata. It was like since、uh, 1960, 1946, I think the hottest summer ever. Natsu Daiski no Boku, the Mecha Shot. Even you know, I'm really the summer guy, I love summer, but it was too hot for me. So now, Mosho Natsu d a この夏ね、我が家大変なことが起こりました。その名もヨーグルト事件。And actually, yeah, this y o g u r t incident、uh, or accident in our family during that during this last time. 忘れ物はしない7月23日の朝。On July 23rd of the morning. 子供たちも夏休みに入っています。次の日からキッズのキャンプが。Yeah, they just came. The kids just, you know, finished school and then next day they wanted to go to their kids camp. 娘が朝冷蔵庫に手を伸ばし牛乳を飲もうと牛乳を飲んでコップに届きました。She goes to the fridge and takes out the, the milk. Pours it into the glass. But the milk can be yogurt. Later, the milk can be yogurt. Then I checked out the fridge. Oh, the fridge now broke down. Oh no. What should I do with all these other things in the fridge? あそもそも新しい冷蔵庫いくらするんだ you know, how much is the new fridge? この夏出費が多いのにあいつ痛いなきついな
I thought, well, other because there were already so many expensive during the summer and oh, not a bar to buy it, and, 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 and new fridge as well. So, 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 で、メールのやってるの中でこれとメールやめしてあ、アクションですフレンドコースミアンユノウィチストークアバウトでメールのやってるの中でこれとメールやめしてあ、アクションですフレンドコースミアンユノウィチストークアバウトでメールのやってる
Therefore, the important thing is that, especially when things do not go uh, as you think they should go and your prayers are not immediately answered, that we keep reaching out uh, with our heart and our despair to God. <laughs> and that's the way actually how God then can protect our hearts and can exchange our fear, our anger with His peace. Please write the second point. <laughs> Experience the team power of prayer. Experience the team power of prayer. In Europe, we are all about you know, doing church as a team, DCAT. I think we can say this again as well about prayer. Doing prayer as a team. Doing prayer as a team. Doing prayer as a team. DCAT. DCAT. Thank you, person, you said DCAT. Actually, we have a prayer team in New Hope. And they always pray for our church. They pray for you. They also pray for the pastors. Actually, this morning before we came here, they already have prayed for the, each chair here. Now we pray, Lord, bless the person who God, please um, fill the person who is going to sit in this chair with your grace. Maybe you want to know, do, do I need to have a special gift to join that team? Do I need to pass a prayer test? Ino ken. like prayer test. So No, like actually everybody's welcome to chair and join the prayer team. Kyoshi has been leading the prayer team uh, right from the very beginning of our church. First he was just, you know, one day. You were just hands up. But then uh, also just when he was only himself in prayer. Before the so we started, now he has been given a team and they pray together for the church. And I'm so thankful for him because in so many ways he has been serving, you know, without having um, uh, can say in, in, a, in a quiet place or behind the stage. Uh, in the Bible, we have this scene where Jesus actually teaches about prayer. As you know, the Lord's prayer. That's why the prayer most prayed in all over the world. And actually, I too have prayed this. And I, I'd like you know, with you together to pray that prayer. But we not just read it, but actually pray it together. Go. Tendu and in English, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The beauty of a Christian prayer is that it's not just a private prayer, but that Christian prayer actually includes you know, one another. Or here the Lord's prayer too and forgive us our debts. It's 
we, it's the, the community is in the prayer, it's not just about me. When you look at prayer, uh, religions, religions all over the world, maybe one point which they have in common is prayer. Well, maybe to whom they pray is different, but everybody prays. But I, I think uh, what is different when it comes to Christian prayers that there is this sense of praying together. In Japan, for example, the day where uh, most prayers are prayed uh, is on January 1st. There are thousands, uh, if not millions of people going to the shrine. <laughs> so pray, people pray for you know, being lucky at the job and getting for being able to get married to, for the protection or for being able to success the so the test. So they pray these things and put some coins into in, uh, give some coins to the temple. But, but people do always this as a personal act. Have you ever seen people praying together at the temple? But the Bible doesn't stop with um, a pri with the privacy or with a private prayer. It goes further. So And actually, the word "Amen" is kind of the point that you see um, that kind of uh, how do you the prayer is uh, something for a group, for we, for us. Have you ever thought about the deeper meaning of Amen? As I shared with you, like 40, I mean, when I was 40, first time I prayed, and I realized, oh, Amen, that's what he said at the end of the prayer, probably just means the prayer is finished. Uh, but uh, it's not like Amen is actually not the point of Amen, it's not just like to say like prayer is finished. So she was and uh, Amen also has nothing to do with uh, ramen, you know, with noodles, like uh, as we had these jokes a couple of years ago in, in Japan about Amen and Amen and Ramen uh, type of. <laughs> <laughs> there is also a rap in Japan about our people making jokes. <laughs> but actually, uh, Amen comes from Hebrew. <laughs> and it means truly, uh, it shall be that way. That's right. I agree with you. No, I agree with you. That's what it means. Therefore, when we say uh, when we say Amen to a prayer, actually we we signal that we agree with this prayer, that we pray together for that. Therefore, not only that person's prayer, but our prayer, we together we give it to the Lord. And Jesus, when he was uh, about to say something very important, he would say, Truly, truly, I say to you. This truly, truly in Hebrew would be Amen, Amen. So actually, Jesus has promised us that He is praying for us and leading us in prayer. Amen. And whenever we we say amen, we, we agree. We, uh, we, um, we confess that we want to uh, make it important or important for us to pray for others. Uh, that, uh, for example, to pray together in the church or in the family or as a couple. 
And does it, does it, we want to make it uh, uh, to be important for us to pray together. <coughs> the reason for that is that Jesus has promised us to be in that kind of prayer. Very, very famous verse in Matthew 18. Ready? Go. まことにあなた方にもう一度告げます。もしあなた方のうち二人がどんなことでも地上で心を一つにして祈るなら、天におられる私たちはそれを叶えてくださいます。二人でも三人でも私の名によって集まるところには私もその中にいるからです。Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree of anything, they ask for it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. This is such a powerful word from the Bible. Whenever you pray together, now two or three together, I am with you. That's what Jesus is promising us. Just recently, my mother um, was diagnosed. Uh, stomach cancer, and so she had to have surgery. My mother has always been very healthy, so she had never had any bigger health issues. Never had to go to hospital, therefore, she was really anxious. And therefore, we just before the surgery went to her to you know, spend time for her to pray for her. And my mother, she grew up in a Christian family, but for many, many years she has been away from the church. But then, you know, after. We pray just uh, just before the surgery. Actually, she she uh, she wrote an email, <coughs> and she said, "Like, I think you you all came yesterday." Because I realized that I'm not alone. So she didn't say, you know, um, anything about the prayer or about God in her mail. But I felt like in her email that she really experienced as we were with her, prayed with her for her, that she experienced Emmanuel, God, you know, being with her in that situation. I'm so thankful for many, all the many people who prayed for my mother. And actually, thanks to these many prayers at the surgery went very well. And actually, when uh, well to the point, the doctor said to me, like, oh, you want to use your mother's case as an example when we're going to share with all the doctors about a type of uh, cancer. The prayer is really about experience God. That's why the, uh, we are called not to let our praying hands sink. That's my last point. Never let your praying hands sink down. <laughs> Never let them to sink down. In Psalms 69. Ready?ゴー。しかし私は祈りの手を下ろしません。神が聞いてくださる時が来たからです。あなたは愛と恵みを十分に用意して待っていてくださいます。どうか祈りに答え約束通りに作ってください。But I keep right on praying to you, Lord, for now is the time. You are bending down your ear. You are ready with a plan. Plentiful supply of love and kindness. Now answer my prayer and rescue me as you promised. So please uh, underline there, but I keep right on praying like to you, like I do not let my hands, no praying hands, sink down. That's what the Japanese translation says. And often in the you know in the church or in Sunday school we have this uh, saying like okay let's let's pray and then we, we get into pause of prayer. We our head goes down, we fold our hands. 
でも必ずしも祈りの姿勢ってそうじゃない But actually,、uh, the original, uh, way to different. イスラエルで発掘された紀元前13、14世紀頃の神殿の石の柱には手を上に向けて祈っているそのような姿が刻まれています。Which dated from、uh, 1300 years before Jesus Christ, and there, there is engraved this person praying, Rabbi praying like this, Rabbi praying, praying with hands up. Therefore, in the Oriental Asian world, the world of the Bible, people would lift up their hands and pray in a loud voice. And、uh, you can see this as well in the story where Jesus、um, defeats the 5,000 with fish, with the fish and the, the bread, and he lifts up、uh, his hands to the, to the Father. And of course, in the Old Testament, the most famous story maybe about that is you know,、uh, about Moses in Exodus 17. Let's read this together. モーセが手を上げているときはイスラエルが優勢になり、手を下ろしているときはアマレクが優勢になった。しかしモーセの手が重くなった。彼らは石を取り、それをモーセの足元に置いたので、モーセはその上に腰掛けた。アロンとフルは一人はこちら側から、一人はあちら側からモーセの手を支えた。As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other side, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. イスラエルがアマレク人と戦いをした、対決をしたときの出来事。So, this is the scene where Israel was in the, you know, battling with the、uh, Alekites of war with them. But Joshua was on the front line in the war. But backstage, Moses was praying. And he prayed, you know, it was,、uh, he was fighting back. And so, And so then, you know what happened? Or some, something kind of interesting happened. But whenever Moses kept praying, they were waiting. But when he got tired and just couldn't pray anymore, actually, the Israelites were losing. <laughs> I think you can never, never wear probably in the Bible finds such a clear picture of the power of, of prayer, the importance of you know,、um, going to battle with prayer. Uh, because the picture of Israel really depended in that story on the prayer of Moses. Therefore, Moses, as he realized that, he really tried his best to keep praying. But as this is an issue of you know, a whole day in the battle going on, he was tired. So, he was tired. 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 アロンとフルというサポーターが与えられて、モーセの両手を支え続けて、His two friends, they helped him to, I mean, to, to keep the hands up, to keep him praying. つまり、祈りのチーム力ですよ。It's the team, the power of、um, team prayer. そして、モーセはイスラエルが勝利するまで、あの、祈りの手を与えて、We see Moses keeping on, you know, praying for the victory until the victory. 皆さん、決して祈りの手を下ろしてはいけないですよ。So, this is a story to encourage us never, never let your hands, your praying hands, to sit down. And I'm not just,、uh, she said, I'm not just, uh. はい。We're gonna come to the end of the message. 
、あの現在の中国のね、東北部のあたり、昔は満州と呼ばれましたね。これ満州に伝道しに行った説教師がいます。There was this、uh, missionary from England、uh, who went to North China、uh, to, to reach out to the Chinese of the gospel. イギリスの宣教師でバウンズという人。His name is Bounds. まあ、当時、聖書について最も呼ばれているプロテスタント教会の書物、天の歴史という本がありますけど、この天の歴史を中国に彼が翻訳しました。You know, the Pilgrim's Progress, a very famous book,、uh, <coughs> he translated into Chinese. で彼は生涯かけて11冊の本を書きましたが、そのうち7冊が祈りについての本です。そのバウンスがこう言います。And, uh, he said, 祈りはしない。祈った人が世を去った後にも、その祈りは後に残って活動し続ける。祈りによって私たちは後世まで子孫に尽くすことができる。祈りは人が後の時代に残すことができる最大の遺産である。After them and might be closed in death, the heart that felt them might have、uh, ceased to beat. But the prayers live before God, and God's heart is set on them. And prayers outlive the lives of those who, after them, outlive a generation, outlive an age, outlive a world. Prayer never dies. Prayer never dies. 祈りは私たちが次世代に残すことができる最大の恵み。実は私たちも誰かに祈られている。知らず知らずのうちに私たちもこの祈りの遺産を受け継いでいます。Our lives also build on that, in, in, you know, on that foundation of prayer. The pray, people who pray for us, but I mean, we need the prayer team, for example. The pastors pray for you. But more than anything, actually, Jesus is promising us that He is interceding、uh, for us. こんなに嬉しいことはない。こんなに心強いことはない。There's nothing more beautiful than that. 今日最後の聖書の言葉を一緒に見たいと思います。We see that in last verse ローマの8章24節。見たまも同じようにして、弱い私たちを助けてくださいます。私たちはどのように祈ったらよいのかわからないのですが、見たまご自身が言いようもない深い夢によって、私たちのために掘り出していってくださいます。そういう意味に定めようとするのは誰ですか死んでくださった方や、よみがえられた方であるキリストイエスが、神の右の座につき、私たちのために取り出していてくださるのです。In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know how we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless, gro- wordless grounds. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Jesus is praying for us. We are prayed for. We are prayed for. You are loved. And it's our turn. イエス様の祈りのチームに加わるこんなに光栄なことはない。No、bigger, no 祈りは私たちが次世代のためにできる最大のこと。祈りを続けても何も変化が起こらない時があります。もちろん、こんなに変化が起こらない時があります。もちろん、こんなに変化が起こらない時があります。もしかしたら私たちの祈りが私たちが生きている間にその祈りの結果を見ることができないこともあるかもしれない。We do not, we are called not to let our praying hands, our prayers to stop, to let our brands falling or sinking down. でもその祈りは知らないんですよ。Maybe we won't see what we have prayed for in our lifetime, but その祈りの実をもしかしたら次世代がその次の世代が見ることができる、受け取ることができるかもしれない。
But prayers never die. They are in front of God's presence. And what you have prayed for might come to pass maybe in the next or in the generation or generation after. <laughs> Therefore, as we pray, there is um, no despair, there's no disappointment. And whenever we pray together, Jesus is in our midst. Therefore, today too, let's pray for each other together. Let's support each other like Aaron who works until we see the victory. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, あなたの前に出て礼拝できることを感謝します。私たちの祈りを教えてください。天に祈るものとならせてください。皆さん、祈りの手を下ろさないように。We there are so many things where we can get disappointed, where we can get into this, where we can lose it. There are so many trials. But therefore, we want to keep on praying. We want to keep on lifting up our hands to you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. We pray that we can join you uh, in that movement of prayer. And that, 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 that the prayer that these prayers can fill our families, our schools, that they can fill Japan, that they can fill. Lord, we want to proclaim that even if we hit something tough this week, that we stop, stop praying, but that in the name of Jesus, we will keep trusting you and keep praying. And we pray, Lord, that whenever we come together, then end prayers with Amen, that we can feel your presence with us. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us Jesus, that you have given us the gift of prayer. And we pray, Lord, that each person who came today can experience a fruitful autumn season. Let's finish with our last worship song.